What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Talking about the two new posters that came out. One of them you see here on your screen. Talk about the official trailer that came out. Um, and talk about the release info that came out along with said trailer. And three release opportunity dates. Three release dates that the US now has as an opportunity to be able to see this movie in theaters if you decide to do that. So as many of us and I kept talking about on this channel, this is going to end up being a fast event and that is actually what it's going to be it's going to have a three night limited release just like the third movie did every screen media movie honestly seems to do that what screen media movie do you know they had a, a wide release honestly so i don't think this is too shocking for any of us but here you have another new poster jeepers creepers reborn and it mentions that you will have a chance to see it on the 19th the 20th and the 21st in limited theaters now i did get a press release sent to me i believe tickets are going to go on sale on august 6th I'm honestly just going to admit to you guys, I'm going to do my best to be able to see this movie for free. I don't feel like paying for this movie. Uh, and going off of the trailer, while I will say that it looks like the story is going to be a lot more entertaining as opposed to what we got in the third one with that task force hunting it and bringing in the Kenny and Darla subplot slightly and tweaking a, a, a few things and still being underwhelming, even though they brought in parts of the Kenny and Darla subplot, this movie here does look like it's going to be a lot more entertaining as far as like what narrative it wants to tell in the trailer i think it makes it clear that going off of what i heard that chase knows of the creeper origin and we get to see the creeper leaving what i assume is jack taggart's barn we see shots of the creeper wandering looks like he's stalking people at the horror hound event we actually get a few shots of the event itself it looks like there's something going on at the event with the creeper's name being mentioned like a contest or something and then chase and lane and two others and i think some other girl who's present there they are supposed to be going to a location it seems like it's tied to what happened at the horror hound event they end up going to the wrong location and that's how they end up caught in this creeper layer they went to the wrong place they went to the creepers layer they get trapped in there he starts stalking them i'm assuming he's gonna get start picking them off one by one and chaos will ensue of course now honestly there were some things in the move in this trailer i was like that looks terrible for instance i think two characters are standing on a roof and there's like crows swarming them i believe or maybe one of them is on the roof i think it's peter brooks character on the roof maybe fighting the creeper with with crows swarming them it, it looks terrible but, but then again we know there was a lot of siege there was a lot of green screen utilized for this movie so i mean can't really be too shocked there as far as like seeing him escape the taggart barn honestly that might be the most rewarding satisfying thing you'll see in this movie because I know a lot of you have been dying to see some iteration of that. Not necessarily with the production value that you have here with this. Because yes, I've seen people comment on it and I'm in agreement. The production value, while I would say it looks like a slight improvement over 3, the cinematography, it is still like a little bit eh, just like 3. The cinematography does not look all that impressive to me. It doesn't really sell me or get me really that excited to see the movie. Uh, again, considering this image that you have here on your screen, they, they, they didn't really do anything to show like the cult stuff that many of us are still expecting to come based off of this image on screen here. So we'll see what this movie has to offer. But the trailer did come out. You have a release date. You have a time for when tickets will go on sale on August 6th. And again, you'll have three opportunities to see it. You can see it on September 19th, the 20th, or the 21st. Now, again, if you're someone who's not in the States, uh, I'm assuming the release date will end up still being October. But now, those of us in the States, we have a release date. Because again, everything I've been talking about on here so far was pertaining to potential release dates for us because everybody else seemed like they had a release date. But now we know what's happening in the States. It's not something I know too many of you are shocked about. A three-night Fathom event. That's exactly what we ended up getting for the third movie i think it was actually one night and then it came back for a second night so nothing too shocking there again the trailer i wasn't necessarily overly impressed the most exciting thing i saw in the trailer was the creeper leaving that barn honestly it did look like there was a lot again of and we already saw this from behind the scenes cgi um cgi use not cgi i meant to say green screen use with people driving 
and you know the, the the scenery around them obviously looks like it's just green screen like when we got the third trailer for jeepers creepers 3 and you had had testigo and and tubs in the in the car together clearly the scenery around them looked like green screen so you can clearly see that here in this one as well the movie honestly is probably going to end up being just above quality wise with jeepers creepers 3 i will do a review on the channel i am going to try to do my best to again see this movie for free i don't have a real desire to go to one of these fathom events i just don't at this point i i, I haven't really had a chance to see either what team always tweeted out because i'm blocked again from that twitter account but i did get a press release and i did see the trailer i know a lot of you are excited about it i and if you are excited about it that's fine I'm not really all that enthused about this movie anymore. I'm just at a point where like, I want to see it and see what it had to offer. And then I'll review it because I know a lot of you also want to hear what my thoughts are on the movie. We're gonna, we've gone this far. Now the movie looks like it's finally here. So I'll give my review spoiler free. And I'll probably also do one with spoilers in it. And then we'll all talk about it and tell each other how trash this one was, how much better the third one was or go on about how even though it seems like it's still the same production value this one was more entertaining it had a more focused narrative hopefully and it had a lot more interesting characters hopefully also better performances what i'm seeing in the trailer doesn't necessarily look like there's going to be bad performances i really want to see what sydney craven is going to do though since we know that's who the creeper is targeting i am also a bit confused from the fact that it did seem like again chase was going to propose to lane at the horror hound event and then lane was going to get taken away and maybe that is what happens because again the trailer could be deceiving deceiving us in a lot of ways with certain shots being being factored in before they enter the creepers layer maybe lane actually is abducted at the horror hound event and they end up going to the house of pain but it really legitimately seems like going off of the trailer there's something going on with a competition at the event and they all together end up going the going to the wrong location so maybe the proposal got reworked or it's a it's something where they had that shot for multiple different scenarios and we're getting a different scenario from what was shown in that behind the scenes footage we'll all know sooner or later jeepers creepers 4 again is releasing in september if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video and also just to end this i am at the point where i don't want to see any more jeepers creepers movies if it's at this type of production value with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video